Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Surviving Mars with the Green Planet DLC. It's looking a bit barren and bare at the moment, but join us for another step towards turning this into a lush green paradise. That's brilliant, that's covering all of the waste rock areas there. And it will also cover those two. It's covering this one. It won't have anything to do with that one down there, but I don't think it's going to need to. So that should be pretty good, I'd say. I don't see any issues with that. The rather cool thing about this farm here... Actually, that one's just gone all the way across. Look, over there, look. See, these robots are going out onto the field, and they, they go and harvest it right in the field. They go rushing out across it. See if we can find another one that's going to do it. They're coming over from this side. They're rushing into the field. Oh, wait. Uh, not going to rush in. Very oh, yeah, they are. They're still doing it. They're rushing into the field and they're doing that. At the moment, we have a slight power issue. But I, I love this. I love the fact that they're actually doing this. They're rushing into the field and going along, harvesting it, and then rushing off again. So that field will just keep producing continuously like that. Uh, oh, I see. He's taking it over to there. Right, so what about this one? We could do... We, we See, we got heavy load on here. And we got some prefabs available, so... Let's put an extra few drones in here, shall we? Let's go 15. 16. Uh, Alright, well, we'll go with 16. We'll go with 16 drones in... Oh, now we're talking. Look at this. Look at them go! And, yeah, they're filling that one up. And they're filling that one up pretty quick. Now, we've also had some issues with people starving. And it has been brought to my attention that this may be because we don't have enough of those for people to use. Right? They just don't have enough of them. And therefore, they can't get enough to eat. So, like, I got that one there. I got the... No, no, that's the Martian University. I need to have... we got domes without life... Let's worry about the power first, shall we? We need to deal with the power. We've got that one over there, and this one has got... Oh, that's because that one right there has got... Um, not working, won't receive until we've got electronics, and I don't have any electronics. Okay, let's go to you. You've got... You've got everything, so you can go. Return to Earth, and I will return to Earth myself. And I will take the 955 million that I've got, and we will get some more much-needed electronics. And I will do all of it with electronics this time. Actually, you know, I'm going to do five polymers and 40 electronics. Send that one off. That one's going to come this way, and then that one's going back again. And then we can get these going down here. We're going to need a lot more polymers. We could really do with a lot more polymers coming in here. I mean, it's going to take a minute or two for them to bring everything over. We've now got all of the waste rock being dealt with there. Research so complete. water should no longer be a problem. Creative bio-robotics. Building that allows colonists to experiment with bio-robotics, uh, bio-robots, counts towards the workshop milestone. Um... Right, well, well, we'll let them carry on doing that. So, we've got... I'm just wondering if there's anything in particular. Uh, building construction costs in metals and concrete reduced by 20%. Well, I do have a big building right now that, that could be quite good. We've got moist evaporators there. Those would also be good. This um, Space elevator would be another really good one to have. I'm going to go with that one there. And then I will go back to working through these. So, plutonium synthesis, sterling generator upgrade, plutonium core. And Martian-born resilience. I'll take those there. But I've still got masses and masses of absolutely no power. I'm minus 480 right now of no power. And I'm not entirely sure why I don't have power. Too far from working drone commander. That one's working. And I should have another one down here, but again, it's malfunctions. We have a food shortage. Yeah, but because I don't have any power. Now, yeah, I think that. How are you all starving to death? I've still got like the I've I've got the bars and that in here. I got the places for food. 
It's obviously just not working properly. I mean, I've, I've got a place of food in there, but I'm not having power in the factory is probably not helping things a great deal. This this is the the major issue that we're going to have is that we've we've got this sort of issue with no power. And that's going to stay until such time as I can get some of these here up and running. I can't get them up and running until I've got electronics over here. And maybe I shouldn't have spread that one out. I mean, I did that just to try and help things along a little bit. We've got someone on there. We got this one on its way. Oh, no, this one. 80. 80%. We're nearly there. Once it gets here... We'll see, we're down to just 114 shortage on power. But once that gets here, we can get that one fired back up again. And then I'm hoping everything will all be tickety-boo. It'll all be wonderful again. We won't have any more problems whatsoever. Everything is going to be just perfect for us all the way through. Um, yeah. Probably not going to go quite like that, though, is it? Maybe not quite like that. How are we doing over this side? We've got shortages of absolutely everything, but I do Funding have received. you. And I've got another 750 million back on Earth, which I could use to get more electronics over here. Um, just wondering if I colonists should. Colonists are departing. 21 more colonists are leaving, therefore I am... Uh, so I was just wondering whether I should go back to Earth and get another passenger rocket. I think I will, because I've just lost 21 people. So we will go back to Earth and we will grab the first 22 people that we can get. We got 282 matching applicants and we'll bring those over this way. So 22, we're going to replace those departing 21. We've got various things that have been shut down, but I've now got the electronics right here. They've just got to refuel a minute and get all those electronics out. So if they can get those electronics over to these. Now, those are staying as top priority. The fusion reactors are staying as top priority, so they should get the electronics before anything else does. And so long as they can both get them, i got that one there that needs them, and then i got that we one have down a there food that shortage. needs them. Right, you... Yes, yeah, I've only got that one. I've got all that food there, and I've got no way of actually feeding these guys which is not really Meteor very good incoming uh oh uh split power grid uh i can't do anything about that i just have to wait for them to repair it themselves and you over there i'm hoping will be able to i, I can't really do very much about it at all i'm just gonna have to leave it and hope that they're gonna be all right so i've got that one there which does feed people but it doesn't seem to feed people fast enough the playgrounds that's being used so i don't really want to change anything on that one i don't have a diner in this area so i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to remove this one the stone garden relaxation exercise and playing that one's going to go and then in place of that one i'm going to put a Another small... Uh, the diner is too big. Oh, no. The diner will fit in there. I'll put a diner in there instead. And I'm hoping that they'll be able to go to the dome there and be able to do that. So our power is back online. That's good to go. You need just two more exports and then you can go. Oh, no. Power was back online. Oh, I still got that one down there as malfunctioned. But, mo well, most of the power is sort of being dealt with. So as most of it is being dealt with, we, we should be all right. So you can go back to Earth. I've got a load of people on their way. When that one gets back to Earth, I will then load up a load more electronics and bring them back. And then we'll see about getting some more stuff. So there's 270 power short at the moment. I mean, that one's running. It's that one down there. If I can get that one back up and running... The rest of them are all right. Oh, there was another thing. There was another thing. Uh, power. Power right here. I've got the fusion reactor. The atomic accumulator. I haven't built an atomic accumulator yet. And this is a battery. Now, I've got a bit of a battery bank over here. And quite honestly, it's not doing a great deal right now. So we could do with some additional battery power. So Research I'm going to build complete. two atomic accumulators over there. 
Factory AI. Refineries and factories upgrade. Factory AI. Performance increased by 20%. That is going to be a rather useful thing to have. So we're going to go to our... No. VR workshop. A load of people in here. Put that on a day shift as well. Put another shift in there. There we go. Workers in workshops. Ah, loads of people work. At, they've, they've moved straight into that one. Right, electronics factory right here. Factory upgrade AI. Available upgrade construction cost is 5. But that's plus 20% production. That's, that's a good thing. Um, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that with all of the electronics factories to start with. You over here, i got people on board. You can go down there. And I've got food there. I'm going to do another food depot like that over here. So I'm going to go to storage right there. And go storage. And I'm going to go to food storage New right here. colonists have arrived. I'm going to drop that one there. And then... I'm also going to go over this way. We've got the giant dome down here. Now, I haven't got anybody moved in here yet, I don't think. Yes, I do. I've already got people moving in, so we're going to need some food over here. So I will do another food storage for them over this side as well. And that one is going to go... Storage... Food storage. I'm going to put one of them right there. So they should hopefully start bringing some of that over. Our deposits Funding over here. Received. They're busy going. They're doing well. I'm going to go back over to you. The friendship over here is still unloading food. I've got masses of food everywhere. The dome without life support. Died. Data Hubble couldn't take it anymore. Right, well, I can't really do a lot about that. Destroyed vehicles. Oh, that's because of where it came in and smashed down. Right, that one, that one, and that one. They can all be taken apart like that. Arriving colonists. There. Right, the farm is doing all right. We've got herbs planted there. Insufficient seeds at the moment, so we're going to need some more seeds. I wonder if I could do seeds. Can I like grow seeds on this one? No, I can't. It doesn't actually allow seeds to be grown, so we'll just leave that one doing what it's doing at the moment. And you over here are still unloading food. I'm going to go back to Earth a second, as I've got two lots. We've actually got nearly two billion back here. And we're going to go with the cargo rocket, and I'm going to get a load more of these so that i got some backup. Uh, I'd say 50, and then I'm going to go polymers, because we want them to build our power supply. Right, 50, 50 polymers, and then I'll go 60 electronics. And launch there. So I've got another one on his way. You down here, you've got 10 food on board. As soon as we get another 5 food off, go on, unload. Get rid of that one. Then that can go. There, right now that one's going. And these are already working. Converts waste rock into CO2, improving the atmosphere. So we've got yet more use for waste rock. I've got waste rock being used up here. It's being converted into concrete. So I've got loads of shuttles flying backwards and forwards, turning everything into concrete. Waste rock coming out of the pit here, plus waste rock coming out of all of the water extractors as well. And slowly dealing with all the water extractors. The problem is I got that water extractor there. Right, but what I don't have anywhere here... Where's... Uh, that's not really covered by a drone hub, so I sh I'm going to put one in there. It's right next to that. And that's going to deal with the waste rocks. Can we take it? Because at the moment it's being dealt with over on that one. Um, although that is the low drone load. It's not covering that area up there. Which is something that should be done really. So we'll go drone hub and... I'll put a drone hub in there. That will cover that zone right there. And then I'm not going to have to worry about it. Um... The rest of these over this side. How are we looking over here? We've got 186 metals, 105 of the 200 concrete, and 43 of the 300 polymers needed. 
We're getting there slowly. Triboelectric scrubbing is almost done. So that um, helps to keep things a little bit cleaner, doesn't it? You here, machine parts depot. Ah. So the machine parts, we're doing all right now. We've got 385 Research of those. Complete. Triboelectric scrubbing is now done. So there's two of them. We're now doing the Mars Novu. Uh, construction costs in metals and concrete are reduced, apart from domes. That one there is a two billion in funding so i'm gonna go with that one i'm gonna research that one and then i'm gonna go with this one here research amplification increased production on the research i mean probably i should do that the other way around but i, I think it'll be all right i think we'll be fine with it just like that power is still minus 29 i've now got that one down there is actually working it's got the full upgrade on it that one's working and it's got its upgrade. That one's working with its upgrade. So's that one. I, they're all working with upgrades. Now I've got in here. Attention, charging. Requires minimum of 300 power to start supplying the grid. It's got 50 power. Uh, no, it's got 190. So it's currently powering up at the moment. And I do have spare power. So that is actually working. Maximum output, 100. So it charges slowly. High capacity and max output, but charges slowly. So there, we've now got 340 power stored in it. So we've got a little bit of a buffer in that one. And funding same with received. that one. There's some more funding. And we've now got some more electronics. And also the polymers. A colonist has died. There's another suicide. We're going to have to start looking at the suicide issues. Like, we seem to be getting a few colonists that are doing that. You down here, I've got grass growing and I've got lichens growing. And that's spreading out quite nicely. We're, we're, we're using those quite well now. So, seeds. I've only got three seeds at the moment. We've got several um, food supply options up here. I've got a security station down here as well. We've got no renegades in this dome at the moment. Total for the dome, I've got 152 places and I've got 25 available work slots. That's going to change, that's going to increase. So another thing that I would like in here is to produce some more seeds. We'll do some seed production down here. So I'm going to go life support, hydroponic farm. Uh, it takes three workers per shift. A uh, regular big farm. Six workers and eight. Base production. See, I'm not sure which is the best one. That, I don't want the ranch. It's the farm or the hydroponic farm. Like the hydroponic farm right here. I put that one in there. I'm going to build both of them, and then one of them will end up being destroyed. So I'm going to go like that, and I'm going to... Actually, no, I will just build one hydroponic farm. I suppose I could do this by looking at the other farms that I have over this way. I've only got the hydroponic stands. So I can look at you. Upgrade. You are producing Resources these, and are this low. optimal harvest for seed crops is one. One each time, which is not very many. You are ready to roll. Off you trot. I've got 40 electronics, 36 polymers right now. So we're using them. The polymers they're going to be bringing over this side. We're up to 50 on there. Our next trip back from Earth, though, I'm thinking that we're most likely going to need... Um just polymers. If we bring just polymers back from Earth, that might be a better way of doing it. Upgrade all of those. That, I don't have that many engineers in here yet. That's what the Martian University is for. It's supposed to be training people to become... Well, see, I, I've got engineers being trained. I don't have any geologists being trained, but then I don't need to because I've got this bad boy. We can upgrade and expand this one. That requires a whole load of machine parts. I'm not going to do that at the moment. I'm going to worry about this one down here. So you are 
medium low. Let's, let's add a couple of um, fabrics onto there. You're doing a great job just there. And I'm going to stroll down this way. Those there I'm not so worried about. But it's this down here. It's this one. Right, that's got to bring, like, clear the all of the material around those. So you here, although you've only got a low, low I'm, I am going to put two more on there. So that one's got six. And then that one there, that one's already got six. So that one should be all right. All right, we'll leave the rest. We'll leave those as they are. And then we've got a food storage down here. So they can bring uh, food out to there. Food is being stored everywhere anyway. Or I think it is. This is uh, a different depot. Um, yeah, food is being stored on all of the universal depots. So now, this one in here. You, if you... Quinoa. Not sure I want to produce quinoa. Uh, seed crop. Right there. That optimal harvest five. Right, we're going to go with seed crops on there. And I'm going to put the upgrade in on that one. And then you on here. Decrease workplaces by one. I put that one going. This one is producing giant rice. If I go there with seed crops, that only does one for the seed crops. Kelp. Average yield. Grows very fast. Produces oxygen. Funding received. Here's some more money. Uh, right, you know what? I'm just going to destroy that one. I'm going to take that one down, and we're going to go with this. And this one's going to produce us our seed crops as soon as that one has finished harvesting. We'll go on to the seed crops, and we will just focus on producing seed crops. Every five souls, we get five seeds. Optimal harvest. So I'm going to do that again. I'm going to go to the life support, and I'm going to do another farm there. That's going to get me some more seeds going in here. And a few other bits and pieces. We have got the odd shortage down this side, but nothing serious at the moment. How are you doing? You're doing just fine. And Earth has got... I think we will go here this time, and... I'm going to go all of my money into polymers. Like that. 125 polymers. Bring those back over to here. And that 125, that'll, that should take us up, I'm hoping, close to 300 on there. And then we're a lot closer to having our eternal sunshine. Which means that we will then be able to go and... Right, what did I get on there? Still medium. One... Two, three, four. Put that up to 20 drones. Working that one. And then I've also got that one. Why aren't you working this area then? Uh, they're working the other bits, but why aren't you working this area? Going over to that massive food storage there. I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, uh, I... Oh, no, I already did that. I removed Crop that. So... Reported. Right, you go for none, and you also change out the seeds. Upgrade automation. That one's already got the upgrade for the automation. And it's when you lose workers on it, isn't it? I think that's what happens. If you lose some workers on it, then you you do get some slight issues with it. Um, not a lot else that we can do about that, so we'll just kind of leave that go, just as it is. We could do some more electronics. I know that I've only got polymers coming over this time, which means that I'm going to need to do something about getting some electronics coming back here, if I can. I wonder, maybe we could try and have a look for a few more decent ones. Um, right, uh, capture ice, capture meteors, high-speed comm, import greenhouse gases, and launch a SETI satellite. That requires 30 electronics. That does get us nearly $2 billion, which that's pretty good, I'd say. Um, high-speed comm, 400 research... Really worth it at the moment. And 
six we need 600 million outcome two percent and one percent no meteors that gets us well it's anomalies that, that gets us that's um particularly good and then you get five percent water with that one which again is is reasonable I would say this one, launch the SETI satellite. We need 30 of those, admittedly. 30 electronics, which is not great. So we'll wait until this rocket gets here, and then we will launch that one. I'm just going to have to have the electronics here. And I've got an electronics factory there. That's busy producing. And I've got the upgrades on it as well. So we're producing 8.4 per sol in that factory, 8.6 per sol in that factory, this one over here is 7.5, and I've got a shortage of people, mainly. Mainly, I've got a shortage of people for the rest of it. So, I'm going to go over to here. That one's done. Yeah, I've, I've, I've got a shortage of people here in general. We've got a school there. I've got a Martian university that's being built. We're waiting on more electronics for that one. I've got food coming in for this one upgrade for the service bots i could go and do that again this is more stuff that requires electronics i'm gonna build an electronics factory in this dome that's what we're gonna do another electronics factory get one up and running actually i'm gonna put that one up there in that corner so I'll just put the one in for now. I don't want to put too many of them. And you over here. Back up this way. And this is going to get me all the polymers that I want. So I'm going to dump that one down there. And you're going to start unloading a huge number of polymers. And moving a lot of them over to there. Colonists are departing. Another 21 colon. Will you stop abandoning ship? Like, honestly, just as soon as the going gets a little tiny bit tough, they've all got to jump ship. It's like rats from a sinking ship. It is. It's absolutely appalling behavior. I'm just going to keep taking anybody that will come along. And so, launch. We've got uh, vacant work slots. Residential slots 171. Vacant work slots 131. So, you know, if I fill all the... Work, the residential slots then yeah we're, we're gonna sort of we're gonna have a bit of a problem with unemployment but generally Research we should be all right complete. mars novu that reduces overall costs it hasn't reduced the cost of the artificial sun though has it i got concrete i got all this concrete here they're not bringing it over though they don't seem to be in a hurry to bring it back this way quite sure why oh well never mind never mind it'll be fine you there you got 12 shuttles on that one and crop failure reported this one has only got six no that's electronics i'm gonna wait before i do that you have had a crop failure yeah that's fine uh drone heavy load deporting ma deporting departing mars you in here, that is the last of the polymers about to be taken off the ship. Come on. Yeah, do I go with this one yet? That's going to get me a pile more money. So in the long run, this will work. No, I don't want to do that because of this. Look, we're already... Well, as you can see, we're not going to turn this barren red desert into a lush green paradise overnight. But it will eventually happen. But for now, we need to take a little bit of break and get a bit of shut-eye. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.